Rustic, gritty, chaotic, and somehow strangely beautiful. You'll undoubtedly recognize these mean streets from an endless history of romantic comedies, superhero movies, and pretty much every single Hollywood car chase that has ever taken place underneath an elevated train track. This is where the weather can change in an instant and where the skyscrapers disappear into the clouds. The people of this city are resilient, hardworking, and they don't take crap from anyone. They are the final element which makes this place what it is. Welcome to Chicago. Welcome to the Windy City, home of the world champion Chicago Cubs, the Bulls, the Bears, the Blackhawks, and the White Sox. Now, as if a roster of legendary sports franchises isn't enough, this city has one more trick up its sleeve, world-class architecture. And from a photography standpoint, that is why we are here. There comes a time when every landscape photographer finds him or herself in the midst of a great city like Chicago. While our camera gear may pretty much remain the same, we face a whole new set of challenges when it comes to the urban world. Our mountains are made of glass and steel, our canyons are haunted by clattering public transportation, and our rivers rush with roaring traffic, just begging to stream colorful trails of light with every long exposure. The weather is pretty much going to do whatever it wants. That much is at least consistent with the great outdoors. Needless to say, being prepared for anything is essential for every trip into the city. And the first part of being prepared is having a plan. Like all things photography, timing is essential. And while wandering through the city streets waiting for inspiration to strike may work for painters and poets, any good camera operator will tell you that success comes to those who follow the light. It's hard to talk about cityscape photography in Chicago without first paying a visit to the shores of Lake Michigan. One of North America's great lakes, Michigan disappears into a vast horizon which reveals the very curvature of the planet. To the geographically challenged, or maybe just the really drunk, this body of water could easily be mistaken for the Atlantic Ocean. And much like the mighty Atlantic, Michigan has been known to gobble up the occasional bystander who gets too close to the water's edge. Restless and powerful, these waters are never still. And try as though you may, any photographer seeking a perfect reflection along these shores will be in for a long and chilly disappointment. Fortunately, if conditions are just right, the waterfront will occasionally provide tiny little miracles for anyone willing to look at life from a slightly different perspective. Then we reach Cityscape 101. Scout your location, stand your ground, wait until the sun falls across the sky, and watch as unforgettable visions of this magical skyline come to life right before your eyes.
could probably spend an entire year filling your lenses with the visual filet mignon of the Chicago skyline as it appears from the shores of Lake Michigan. But the camera craves variety. Wide-angle lenses yearn for the up-close perspective, and if we're being honest, all the best restaurants are downtown. And so, the desire to get up close and personal takes us into the heart of the city. Surrounded by skyscrapers which previously painted the horizon from afar, we find ourselves in one of the city's many artistic epicenters, Millennium Park. It is here that gigantic metal sculptures rise above crowds of curious tourists. Most famous among them is the legendary Cloud Gate. Created by world-renowned Indian sculptor Anish Kapoor, this giant chrome monolith resembles a frozen droplet of liquid mercury. Cloudgate has long been attracting photographers from all across the world. And thanks to its unique ability to shape and reflect light, it's easy to see why this impossible chrome surface is such a magnet for the lens. Add in the other strange and unusual structures which inhabit Millennium Park, and you have the makings of an architectural fairyland of swooping steel curves and painted light. Closer to the center of downtown, and the city takes on a whole new perspective. The Chicago River, steel bridges, classic skyscrapers, busy streets. If you're searching for the heart of the city, then look no further than the Riverwalk. Tread cautiously, however, because this is a place where the light is unforgiving, the weather is always changing, and the motion never stops. And where there is motion, there are sure to be long exposures. But before we lock our tripods firmly into place and prepare for the long shutter, there is one more place we need to visit first. Actually, it's not so much a place as it is an elevation. Chicago's brilliant showcase of architecture rises far above the streets where the mere mortals reside. This is why it's always important to look up, because there are a lot of interesting things happening way up high in superhero territory. This is where a good telephoto lens can turn building facades into sweeping works of art. Abstract collections of glass and steel shimmer in the evening sunlight, giving you a unique perspective on this often overlooked strata of the Chicago skyline. As the sun goes down, it's time to switch back to the trusty wide-angle lens. Stake out a little corner of the city and lock the tripod firmly into place. The never-ending flow of traffic paints the streets with vibrant brushstrokes made of light. And those pesky rainstorms which always seem to be right around the corner fill the air with a cool mist, lighting the scene with a moody atmosphere. As the city glistens with rain and snow, it's easy to see why Chicago is such a popular destination for artists, writers, filmmakers, and cinematographers. There's just something in the air that can't quite be described with mere words. And at the risk of sounding old-fashioned, you simply have to see it to believe it. Lucky for us photographers, that just so happens to be what we do best. Little Blue Planet is home to all kinds of amazing destinations, and I've had the privilege to produce photographic artwork for homes and businesses all across the nation. If you are interested in acquiring your own little piece of Mother Nature, every image which appears in this episode can be purchased from my website. So be sure to check out the link in the show notes below, and I look forward to providing your next fine art photograph. It is actually quite cold out here. Anyway, as always, friends, thank you so much for joining us. If you had fun on our little adventure today, be sure to hit that subscribe button. It's a big, beautiful world out there, and we got a lot more places to see. Hope to see you next time. That's all for now. Always remember, the camera will take you places you never imagined. Oh, okay.